Emerson's crossed Bowen, didn't make contact. He does now. And Solchek scores. That is a mighty Arsenal mess. And Socek pounced from almost on the line. And in the face of logic, West Ham lead. There is a VAR check around when the ball crossed the byline. Well, it's a Socek's routine tuck. And this is the angle which will tell us either way. Does Bowen keep that in? Perhaps it doesn't tell us because he actually shields us from the ball. No way. There's no way you can tell, I don't think, what point the ball leaves his foot. But that there is still on. Is the ball going to his foot at that point or is it leaving his foot? If there is insufficient evidence, and I think this is the message which is coming from VAR now, if there's insufficient evidence, they presumably can't turn it round. Yeah, that has to be the, the rationale. But VAR and rationale <laughs> aren't always uh, used in the same sentence, are they? You see this picture, and this takes us back to St James's Park a couple of months ago. The Joe Willock one leading up to Newcastle's much-checked goal. There is no conclusive angle, and the goal is given. It had to be given, based on all we saw or didn't see. Thomas Socek has his goal, West Ham have their lead. Saliba and Erdegaard and Bukayo Saka against the post and behind. Everything but the goal. Will Prowse plays it in. Mavropanos was up and has thundered his header in. He has given that a lot. And at the expense of those who once employed him, Mavropanos has established a two-goal lead for West Ham United. Well, there's a couple of things about that goal that stand out. First of all, the space on Arsenal, Arsenal's six-yard line. There's a big gap there, you can see it. That's a massive invitation for James Ward-Prowse with an exceptional de delivery. That's the second part of it. Any player knowing that the quality of, of the balls coming in like that attacks the ball and he attacks it 100% there Mavropanos it's a fantastic header this was covering Weiss threw in and West Ham have a penalty at the expense of their one time hero to inject further poison into Arteta's cake Declan Rice Declan Rice of all people Ben Rama and Raya made the save. At least to protect respectability at Ben Rama's expense. But that's the end of it. It is a wounding night for Arsenal, who lose at home for the very first time this season, suffering at the hands of a Moyes master plan immaculately executed by his players. Goals for West Ham in the first half from Thomas Socek somewhat contentiously and in the second half from Konstantinos Mavropanos against his one-time employers. And Mikel Arteta sinks into a moment of introspection, beaten on home territory for the first time in this campaign and the league leadership will not, therefore, tonight be his. A hammer horror night for Arsenal beaten here at home by two goals to nil. Well, how do you sum it up? Did West Ham deserve it? Well, they won the game and congratulate them. Um, with what happened on the pitch, obviously, I think we deserve much more than what we got. Um, we tried, we tried and tried, but the difference was made in the boxes. They had two shots, scored two goals. Uh, we had 30 shots, I think. And not scored a single goal, and we had big, big, big chances. And that's the difference in the Premier League. You want to go and win games, you have to make the difference in the boxes. And and today we haven't done, but I have nothing, nothing um, for the players because I have to praise them. They tried up to the end. They went and um, they went for it right at the end, and uh, we could not uh, get what I think we. Did.